Okay, so um, Bonnie has the same number of suites as Millie. So Bonnie and Millie has the same suite. Bonnie gives 15 of his suites to Millie. So now Bonnie has 15 less than what Millie had. And Millie's got 15 more. Millie now has four times as many suites as Barney. So we remember doing that. So Millie has X plus 15, which is equals to four times X minus 15. That's what Barney has. Yeah. All you have to do is put that into an equation and solve the X. So you got, um, open up the bracket. So you got four X minus 60, then put the X's on one side and the whole number is on the other side. So 4x, if I, this is a plus, if I take it to the other side, it becomes a minus. So 4x minus one is 3x. 60, take the 60 to the other side, it's a minus 60. Take it to the other side, it becomes plus. So 15 plus 60 is 75. So x is 25 each. Oh, I put 25 because I don't read it properly. I just thought for one of them, how many they had at the uh, beginning. You put 25. Yeah, but you didn't, um, you won't get, you'll probably get one mark for this, but you won't get the full mark because we haven't shown any working out. How did you get, how did you find X? So you have to show the working out. So in total, both of them had 50 suites. Same number of suites, she had 50, Millie has 50, and then Barney gave 15 away to Millie. Yeah. Okay, so that's number 17. Next one was number 22. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, okay. Amita, Monica, and Rita are three sisters, okay. Monica is X years, so Monica is X. Amita is three years older than Monica, so Monica is X plus three. Rita is twice the age of Amita, so two X plus three. Then again, the mean, there's three people there, one, two, three. So divide, add up all of them. So as they explain, Monica will be X. So that's X Monica here. Amita is X plus three, uh, three years older than Monica. And Rita is two times the age of um, Amita. So you put all them together, divided by three, and it says the sisters, the three sisters age all together is adds up to 15. So if you look yeah. at that, yeah. So all the three sisters will add up to 15. So you could have done it mentally in your head and find it, but they want you to, the three marks, they want you to write it like this and show the equation. Uh. So what we do is we take this to the other side and leave it as it like this. So three, if it's a divide, we take it to the other side, it becomes multiply. That becomes 45. This is my now new equation. Then I'll just put the x's and the whole numbers on one side. So I got yeah. 1x, 2x, there's 4x there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Then 3 plus 6, that's 9. So 4x plus 9, if I break this equation down. Then put the n on the, take the whole number to the other side. This is the plus, it becomes minus. So 45 minus 9 is 36. 4x, then take the 4 to the other side. So if I do take it to the other side, it becomes divide, 36 divided by four, so X is nine. So Monica is nine years old, Amita is 12 years old, and Rita, so Amita is nine plus three, yep. Yeah. Amita is three years old, so Amita is, Monica is nine, Amita is 12, and Rita is twice the size of her. So it's gonna be 12 times 24. So here they're saying, if the mean age is how old is Amita? So Amita is nine years old, 12 years old. That's your answer. Because you're only adding three. We found X, so we know Monica is nine, and Amita is three years older than Monica. So Monica, Amita is 12 years old. Okay, um, yeah. Uh -huh. And the last one you did, what's that one else? 22, so you've got, all this is wrong, I don't know how. At 23, let's look at the question at number 23. So Asha and Lucy are selling pencils in a school shop. They sell boxes of pencils and each and single pencils. They sell boxes and single pencils. Asha sells seven boxes, pencils, 
and 22 single pencils. So she sells seven boxes and 20, Lucy sells five boxes and two single pencils. Asha sells twice as many pencils as Lucy. So first of all, 7B, um, Asha sold seven boxes plus 22 pencils. We'll put it like this. Lucy sold five boxes plus two. So that's for Lucy. Um, so, yeah. so now Asha sells, sold twice as much as Lucy. So five times B plus two times double it. Double this number. Now work out how many pencils are there in a box. So all you do is put it like this into equation. Break up this equation. So you got 5B plus 4. Then put all the Bs together on one side and put all the whole numbers on another side. So you got 7B here. You got 10B here. Um, so 10B, if I take it to the other side, this is a plus. If I take this to the other side, it becomes a minus. So 10 minus 7, 3B. 4, I've got 22, take the 4 to the other side, it's a plus, becomes a minus, so 18. So 3B is 18, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So each box is, has 6 pencils. Yeah. And that's it. So again, it's just understanding the question and trying to um, put it into a formula that you could easily calculate. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, let's do today's paper. So I'm going to, let me see, one, six, three, five answers. I'm going to send you the answer now. It was on algebra. Yep. So I'm going to send you the answer. Please go through the answers. Go through the whole paper on your, on your own again. And yeah. try to understand how I done all the working out. Okay. Okay. So the answer is sending through. Okay, did we look at, we did look at linear equation. Let's look at simultaneous equation today. Okay. Let's close this. Okay, so. Okay, did we have a look at this last lesson? We started this, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. So what you have to do with a simultaneous equation is um, you have to find the value of y and x. So you do normally the top one, you minus it from the bottom one. And to do this, you have to make sure at least one of them, either the x or the y, has the same value. So you can minus each other to find another one. So to do this one, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, let me get my pen out. So six minus zero will be six. That's the problem. Y minus Y is zero Y. So I don't have to, I don't have to know about Y. So now minus two, take away plus two. I'll give you zero as well, isn't it? Yeah. So that's not going to work. So what, you, what we have to do now, we have to uh, make it bigger, make one of them bigger, the top one bigger. So if we minus it from the bottom, um, it will make it easy for us. Uh. No, we could also add it, actually. Why can't we not add it? So let's, we could also, if, if you can't minus it, you could also add it. So let me just show you how we could add and find the y. So 6 plus 0 is 6. Uh, minus 2 plus 2x will give me 0x, so that's nothing there. y plus y is 2y, so now I could find y actually. So y is, what is going to be y? 3. Three. Because y will be, because I take the 2 to the other side, divided by 2, so y is 3. Now all I have to do is put the y inside there and find the value of 6. So let's do it for this one. So if y is three plus two times something will give me zero. So what could x be? Six. So here I got, look, I got three plus something that gives me zero. So what minus could I put? Three. So 
So minus three, then, so, but this is gonna be two X. So this, so what, what's the um, value of X gonna be? Um, minus 1.5. Yeah, minus 1.5, that's it. So minus 1.5, so times it by two, it gives me minus three. So three plus minus three is zero. Now let's put minus 1.5 here. Three, take away, Two minus um, two times one point five. So that will give me minus three as well, right? But there's a minus and a minus. So minus and minus makes it so minus positive. and minus positive. So that becomes plus three. So here I got three plus three equals six. Did that make sense? Yeah. So the minus here, the answer will be minus one point five. Okay, so let's do the next one now. So you wanna try the next one, doing the next one? You try doing okay. it, try adding them. And if you can't add them, first try adding them. If you can't add them, we'll do minus them. Add them. Yeah. So find one of them first. first find A or subtract them. Sub subtract or add them, whichever one you wanna do. Would it be 2a plus 4b? 2a plus 4b equals to what? Oh, wait, never mind. What would 2a be equal to? That's fine. Okay. You got, um, you're adding, you're minusing them, is it? Okay. So you've done 3a minus a, that gives you 2a. 2 minus 2, that gives you, no, 2 minus 2, 2, that should be 0b. So why have you got 2b there for? I was just halving it. Why are you halving it? So you got you you if you're minusing it, look. What you done here is three a minus a that gave you two a. That's fine. Two b minus two b is a zero b. So we don't put it down. One minus five it gives you minus four. So now what is a going to be? What's the value of a? Minus two. Minus two, perfect, that's it. So you put minus two inside there. So now using minus two, you should be able to find what is the value of V. So if you got minus two here, plus something that makes it five. So 3.5, perfect, yes, so that's it. So minus two plus 3.4, now let's try this one. So three times minus two is minus six. Two times 3.5 is seven, so minus six plus seven is one. So it works out, well done. Okay, can you do this one now? Solve this similar you must show sufficient working for the full three marks. Um, okay. Could you either add them or substitute them? Do whichever one you prefer. Um, so you got five X. Is that right? Okay. Oh. Why did you not that? If you could see this is a plus and this is a minus, if you add them, that'll give you a zero Y in it. So you got three X. Normally look at the equation first, so two X. If I do a minus Y minus minus Y, that'll give me Two y still work. So if I add them together, y plus y plus minus y, that gives me zero y, right? Yeah. Let me clear it. So the first thing I would have done is looked at the equation and say, look, why don't we make this a zero? So that will make it easy for me to understand. So if I add them together, zero and zero, that gives me zero. I can't do anything to this. If I add them together, that'll give me eight x, right? Yeah. So now 8x will be equals to 12, right? Yeah. So now x is equals to 12 over 8. 
12 over 8 is... What's 12 over 8? 6 over 4. 6 over 4, yep. So that is 1.5. X is 1.5. Now let's put 1.5 into the equation. So 3 times 1.5, that gives me 4.5. So what is y going to be? So if 3 times 1.5 gives me 4.5, yeah. plus something... So then it can be it 0 minus 0 0.5. Minus 0.5. So minus 0.5, so let, we'll just double check it again. So 5 times 1.5, that gives me 7.5, minus um, 0 0.5, that gives me 8. No, minus and minus, there's a minus and minus there, that makes it plus. So 5 times 1.5 is 7.5. So I've got minus here, then minus 1.5, so minus and minus is plus, makes it an eight. Okay. Please um, take notes, so I'm recording it, but you also take notes so it will help you understand. Okay, now again, look at this one and how will you do this? You try doing it before I help you. You do the whole thing now. Then I'm gonna see if you've done it wrong, right or wrong. All I'm looking for is the right answer. You could do it any way you want. Okay. Okay, first um, look at, is there any X and Y which is same? First thing you should do is always look at, so first thing I would have done is I've, I would have looked at this thing, right? This yeah. is the same numbers. So what can we do to eliminate this and make it into a zero? So this is like one and one. So what, what can we do to one, one, one to make it into a zero? One, one, one. Uh, what can I do to one and one to make it into zero? Minus one. Minus it. So if I, now I could see minus will be the best option here. So if I minus this, I'll get zero. If I do four X minus one X, that'll give me four, um, four, I mean four X here, right? Yeah. So now I could easily find what the value of X is. So I've got four X equals 17 minus three is 14, right? Mm -hmm. So now x is 14 divided by 4. And that should give you, I'm sorry, that should give you the value of x. So 14 divided by 4, if you put it into your calculator. 3.5. 3.5, yes. So x is 3.5. Now you try um, with 3.5, you try putting it in and find the value of y. 0.5. 0 0.5, yes. So 0 0.5 plus 3.5 is 3. No, is it minus 0 0.5 or plus 0 0.5? Um, 
minus. Minus. So 3.5 plus minus 0 0.5 gives you 3. Let's work out the for the top one. So we've got 5 times 3.5, which gives me 17.5, plus the minus 0 0.5 that gives me 17. So always, when you're doing those equations, either make one of them the same, so you could minus it, or if they are already the same, you could add it. If, the, if this was a minus there, then I would have to add it. Okay. Yeah. okay, let's do the next one. So now, first thing I will do is look at the D. What can you do to the Ds to eliminate it? Uh, cancel them out because so how will you cancel them it's out? It's a minus and this is a plus. So what can you do to cancel them out? Minus them from each other? Yes, minus them. So that's one thing you could do. So minus them. But why can't you not add them? Why will you, if you, will you minus them, that will go over. You try minusing. No, no. You try oh, sorry, I meant plus. Yeah, plus them, yes. So then, if you, mind, if you plus this one, then what you have to do? For 4C for plus C, you have to add them as well. So it's not going to be... Okay, you're getting confused here. All right. What you did is, to cancel this out, you might, you've plussed it, right? You, to cancel this out, you have to plus it. Yeah. So you had plus 5 plus minus 5, right? That gave uh -huh. you... If you had made this a minus minus, if you had made this a minus minus, then the answer would have been 10. Because minus and minus makes it plus. So you had to minus it. So if I minus the top one, I have to, so if I plus the top one, I had to add this one up as well. So that will give me 5C. 5C equals minus 13 plus 48. So what's minus 13 plus 48? Minus 13 plus 48. 35. 35, that's it. 35, now you know um, C will be 7. So 7 times 7 yeah. should be 35. So you know C will be 7. Now D, you could put it in 7 plus 5 times something that gives minus 13. So what can uh. D... So what's, um, okay, so 13 plus 7 is 20. So we need to make it 20. So four times something, five times something that makes it 20, that gives you minus 13. Yeah. So what can I have for D? So I've got seven plus five times something that gives me minus 20 to make it a D, to find the value of D. So here I would have done 7 plus minus 20 equals minus 13, right? Yeah. So what can I put, what can I times by 5 to get minus 20? Minus 4. Minus 4, that's it. So the D is minus 4. And that's to make sure it is minus 4, we'll put into this equation. So we've got um, 5 times, let me rub this out. So we've got 5 times um, minus 4. So that will give me plus 20. So 5 times, no, 5 times minus 4 is plus 20, right? Yeah. So that's plus 20. And then add... This one, so four times seven, each, which is 27, is it? Uh, four times seven 28, 28. is 28. So 28 plus 20, that gives me 48. Mm. Did you make sure, did you understand how I did it? Yes. Please, yes. please go over the video when I upload it again and take your own notes. Okay. Make sure you're writing notes. 
Okay, now this is, this is going to be easy for you to do because you've got X and an X here. So I'm not going to help you. You've got one X there. You've got, they both are plus X. So what can you do to find uh, the value of Y? They both are plus X. Think about that. So why have you why have you got why did you put two two x and plus y there for? Because there's two x and then here yeah. there's two y and here there's minus y. Okay, so nine. Okay, then then how are you going to separate x and y now? Because you, how are you going to separate x and y? Why did you not just eliminate the what x is out and make it into a zero? Uh, so I can just do. Why? Yep. But then what did you do? 2y take away the 2y Where did you get 2y from? Can you explain to me where did you get 2y from? From cancelling out these x's. Yeah, so that, what did you do to cancel it out? So basically, uh, one here, so you had to make it zero, right? You had one and one, so you, you had to get zero. So what did you do? So uh, I, what, what did I do to get zero? Did I plus it? Did I minus it? What did I do? I had one and another one. I, want, I wanted to make it zero. Did I plus it or did I minus it? This is what basically this is, one and one here. What did you do? What do I have to do to make get zero? You have to minus. Minus it. So, so if I minus this, I got zero. Now I got plus two minus minus one. So what will I get here? So I've got plus two at the top. This side, I'm doing this side now. Take away, mm. because I've done take away here. So I have to take away minus one. So what will I get here? Plus two, minus minus one. Uh, plus two, uh, yeah, it's a positive, it becomes three, right? Three, so it's a positive three. So now my equation will be three y equals three minus six. What will I get? So three minus six. Minus three. Minus three. So y is equals to uh, minus one point five. Three divided by three. Why will you get minus one? Oh, uh, sorry, one point five. But why one point five? Half of three. <laughs> um, let me rub this out. So y, I've got minus three here. Hmm? And I have to bring this um, what free to the other side. So if I bring it to the other side, it becomes. It's a times at the moment. It becomes. Um, a divide. Divide. So it becomes free. So divided by three. So minus three divided by three. What will I get? Minus one. Minus one. That's it. Your answer for one y is minus one. If we don't change, if, even though there's a plus there. We don't look at, when we're dividing, we don't look at this plus. We just keep it as it is. So even yeah. normally in a normal one, if there was three here equals minus three, if I take it to the other side, it becomes minus three. So minus three take away three would have given me um, six, right? But in that sense, yeah. because there's a multiply here, we don't worry about what the value is at the front. We don't worry about this value. All we're doing is it's a multiplication. We take it to the other side, it becomes a divide. Okay. But this answer is minus one. So I've got y is minus one. So what is x going to be then? Um, so then my two x is five. Right, is five take away minus one? Minus, minus one. It's plus, yes. So again, let's look at it. Five plus. Two minus times minus two. two minus two, so five plus two is three. 
So please always, when, you, when you're doing those tasks, eliminate the ones that you could eliminate. So we've eliminated this side first by doing minus. So if I done minus here, I mean everything else has to be minus as well. Yeah. Minus everything else. So this is how you do um, simultaneous equations. Okay, now you solve this one. This is quite easy actually to solve. No, you might have to rearrange it first. This is not really difficult, so have a look at it. So, so do they equal the same thing? Yes, they should equal the same thing. So, so x plus 3 equals 7x. Yes, x plus 3 equals 7x. No, x plus 3 equals 7 So all you're doing is putting the y's and the x's on one side. So 7x is going to be x plus 3, yes. So you find what the value of x is. Okay, it's a simultaneous equation. Uh, so seven y equals x plus three no, 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 no. what you should have done is they said y equals x and um what you should have wrote is 7x equals x plus three so can you so then you should have wrote here um x plus three so x plus three here so x plus 3. Now work out the value of x. So work out the value of x. You will have to rearrange it to find the value of x. You, you're going to rearrange it because we've done the rearranging so many times. So ideally, you should be now acing how to rearrange those formulas. I'm not going to help you a bit. I want to see you do it. Okay, so I just need to rearrange them. Yeah. So you got no. Why did you know about seven x? Seven x equals x plus three. Oh. Yep. Right. Write it again. So seven x equals x plus three. Now find x, find the value of x using this, rearrange the formula and find the value of x. So it's moving to the other side, I can just, it's just minus 3 and then minus x. You do it because we've been doing this for a long time. Find me the value of x. Mm-hmm. So you're moving the x's to one side and keeping the whole numbers on another side. So you do that. Okay. X. Come on, Harry, we've been doing this for a long time. You're only, why are you working out in your head for? Why don't you just move this X to the other side? Move this to the other side, that's it. But this is X. I'm still confused, where did you get eight X now? Six x, but why three? Why plus three? I again, why minus three? I'm still confused. Because I took them both from the other side. You only take one thing to the other side. You don't take both to the other side. Okay, so we had. 
So first we're finding the value of x. So I gave you the solution. All you have to do is work here. Look, I had I put seven x um, equals x plus three, right? Yeah. So if I now take this x to the other side, this one to the other side, what happens to that x? Becomes a minus. Minus. So seven minus one gives me six, six. x. And this is a whole number, we don't change it, because we only put the x's on one side and the whole number on another side. So mm -hmm. now what is my x? x is equals... 6x so equals 3, so it's 0 0.5. So it's going to be 3 divided by 6, right? Mm -hmm. x is 0 0.5. Now using this, we could find the value of y. So 7 times 0 0.5 is... Um, 3.5 is it? Um, yeah. 7 times 0. 0.5, that gives me 3.5. So my y is 3.5. So to check it out, I have x, which is um, 0. 0.5 plus 3. So y here will be 4. Mm. That's it. They're not asking you for anything else. Let me just double check. Yes. So your... That's all you had to do. Find the x, put them together, and then that will give me the value of y. So I really don't understand. You need to please um, revise on rearranging algebraic formula. You know, this is something you keep on struggling every time. When you're moving algebraic formula, you put the letters on one side and the whole numbers on another side. There was no need for you to move that plus three to the other side. So this is already on one side. You're moving the x. All you could have done is take this to the other side. So you could, I could have done minus three. If I was to take the three to the other side, so then that would have become minus three equals, then I would have had to bring this to this side. So that would have been equals x minus seven x. Yeah. Then that would have given me still minus three equals minus six x. Minus six x. And then x is equals um minus three over minus six which is still gives me the same number because minus and minus cancels out and give me 0. 0.5 so always when you're doing things keep the whole number on one side and keep the x's on the other side this was easy because this was a plus x let's take it to the other side it gives you a minus x and makes it six x yeah okay. now do this one again Think of ways you could make both of those values the same, then you could either add it or minus it to make it zero. So one of them has to be the same value. One of the x's at the bottom has to be have the same value. So then I can just put Okay, the first thing I will do is, no, you haven't made each one of them the same. You can't, you can't do anything with this equation unless you make either the y the same or the x the same value. So what I would have done, Remember, you have to eliminate one of the letters. Otherwise, you, you will find it very difficult to identify. What I would have done, if this is five, I would have timed this whole thing by five as well. So if I time this, this whole thing by five. And then the bottom one will be five y plus five x equals 35. Yeah, 35. Now, I could do is minus it. So I could do minus this. Oops. So 5y, take away 5, um, 5y, let's give it 0. Minus 4, take away um, 5x. So that's going to be minus and minus. So that will give me, what will that give me? 
zero plus minus. No, right, you got minus four. One. Minus four. It's just x. Minus four. Take away. Plus five. Oh, so not adding them. So you're adding them, yes. So minus and minus gives them x a plus. So it's just one x. Is it one x? Yeah, because it's a plus five. Plus five yeah. So plus five. So x. Is it one x? I'm just thinking. Is it nine x? One did I do for x? What they did is um, they times it by. Okay, that's fine. We could do it then. Yeah. What they did is they times the bottom by four. I don't know why they times it by four. So they made this. Okay, let's do it still. So we've got. Um, Plus one equals eight, take away 35. Minus 27. So the answer here, X is equals minus 27. It's not gonna work, is it? Let's see, five y, so minus four, take away five, is it? Mm -hmm. Or take away five. That gives me minus nine, actually. That should have given you minus nine. That's where we made the mistake. So that's okay. minus nine. So let's make this nine x, and it's a minus. So now we could easily find out. So if it's a minus 27, we move the, so X will be now, if I move the X on this side, will be divided by minus nine, right? Yeah. That gives me equals 27 divided by minus nine is? Mm, three. Plus three, so our X is three now, so we could easily find out. So if X is three, what is Y gonna be? If X is three? Yep. So look at this equation. Four. Four, that's it. So x is three and y is four. So here five times y is twenty minus four times three is twelve. That gives me eight. Yeah. So let me explain how I did this whole thing again. Let me clear the screen. So what I did we times this by five, the bottom by five first. Yeah. So now we've got 5y minus 4x um, which is 8 that stays the same the bottom we have let me change the color so I had again I times it by 5 so I get 5y plus 5x okay. equals 35 right yeah so now all I did is um, minus the answer. So 5y take away y, that gives me zero. Minus four, take away plus five, that gives me minus nine x. Okay. And eight minus 35 is minus 27, right? Yeah. Now, minus nine x is equals minus 27. So x is equals now. Um, take the minus nine to the other side, which is equals minus three. So we just, all I did is took this to the other side, which is minus three. So it's plus three now. So minus and minus makes it plus. So that's plus three. Yeah. And now we just put it into the equation. So we just put it into this equation. If X is plus three, we know Y is gonna be four. Here, um, if y is 4, we just try it out. 4 times 5 is 20. x is 3. Four, um, 3 times 4 is 12. So 20 minus 12 is 8. That's it. Yeah, so almost, okay. 
in those equations, please always try to make one of them, either the x or the y, the same value. I have to make them like the same number, the Some, same amount. Yeah, so when you delete them, if you either add them or, or minus them, they come to zero. So one of them has to come to zero. Mm -hmm. What they did, let me show you what they did for the answer. Um, my answers okay so here what they did is they times it by four they instead of times it by five they times it by four so what they did is four y plus four x equals 28 now they added it so four plus five they added each one is nine y and they minus four add four that gives me zero so nine y is 36 so y is 36 divided by nine, so y is four, so x is three. We've got the same answer, but we did it a different way. So we got x as three and y as four as well. Did that make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, please, please write them down. Now you do this one, I'm not gonna help you. You do this one, please. Once you finish, I'll have a look at your answer. So, um, okay, very good. So then would this be three or would I add it and make it seven? Um, you're adding it at the moment, isn't it? So this would be seven. Yeah, so seven. Because you're doing plus four, my, plus minus four, that gives you zero. So equals three plus two would be five. So, how would you find it then? Uh, I can... Okay, um, why did you not change this number? Wait, yeah, wait, you got 2x minus 4x, right? You times it by 2, right? Yeah. Why did you not change that 2 to 4? Why did you make keep it as 2? This is where you're getting confused in yourself. Oh, yeah. oh. Please double check everything. So that should have been four. Now what is, now you add up the three and the four. So what, what will you get in the bottom here? So seven. Now X is what? What is X? One. One, yes. So X is one. Because so seven divided by seven is one. Now you put one into this equation, put one into this equation here and try to find the answer for Y. So one minus two something that gives you two. Uh, so then, zero point no one minus minus zero point five. Perfect. Yes, that's it. Let's see, you've done this yourself. The only mistake you were confused with, you forgot to multiply this out. So uh, okay, that's very good. So you managed to understand it. Uh, let's do a couple of more. I want to make sure you do it yourself without me helping you. Okay, now um, uh, you do this same one, but I'm not gonna help you this time again. You try to do, how will you, how will you change things around? Okay. Mm. So look at the questions properly and take your time.
have good very good Uh, 1.6 recurring. Okay, very good. So y is 1.6. And now what is x going to be? No, wait, wait, no, x is 1.6. This is x. So you don't, yeah, x yeah. is 1.6. And now what is y going to be? So then for y, we just put 1.6 recurring. Times oh, into minus. Minus. Why? Which? Yeah. Right. Where did you? Right. Which one? Which one are you putting in? Which is this? I, but, oh, I need to do three of those. Yeah. Three times one point six. Yeah. Mm. So three times one point six minus something that'll give you fifteen. Three times one point six. I just do three times one point six. Yeah, 4.8. 4 .8, and then minus ten times something that gives you fifteen. So what's y gonna be? So well, right, you try to rearrange this equation. Rearrange four point eight minus ten y equals fifteen and find the value of y. Rearrange the equation for me. Okay. So I want to see if you understand rearranging. 4.8 minus 10, minus, uh, minus. So you're going to take the minus, I mean, 4.8 to the other side now. So then I can just minus 4.8 from 15. No, that's divide. Why are you dividing? I don't understand. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to divide. Um, so that will give you, perfect. So that will give you 10y. 10.2. 10.2. Now, so the y is, so 10y equals 10.2. So minus 10y is 10.2. Now, what is y? Um, y will be minus 10 over 10.2. Yep. So, which is one point zero two. So, so you're going to be minus or plus? Uh, minus, because there's already a minus. There's already a minus, perfect. So um, what they did is, normally in the exam, you just have to round it up to a whole number, so you just put it as minus 1.1. 1 .1. So if I show you, um, so you've done the whole thing right, very good. This, this is the first time you've done it without my help. So they done the same way, so they got minus 1 and minus 1.6 1 as well. So five times 1.6, they made it into five minus six, six times 1.1. 1 .1. So the answer is minus one and 1 1.6 recurring. So you've got the same thing. You've done the whole thing right, very good. You've done it, uh, you've done it, you, they done it using this way, you've done it using the other way. Yeah. Okay. I think you should be, is that you now remembering? The problem with you, you keep on forgetting especially when it comes to rearranging. That's where we're having issues. So please go through everything. Let's do one more. All right, let's do this one.
Oh. You have does to... it have to? Does one of them have to become a zero? Yes. Otherwise, you won't, you'll find it difficult. So what? Well, you could easily make one of them zero. What are you doing to the fours? I have to subtract them from each subtract other. Them, yes. That's it. So you try to subtract the whole thing, but you delete your four. So I can just subtract them. Yep. Guns. Why did you add them here for? If add the Y's. Why are you adding the Y's? I have to subtract the Y's as well. Yes, but if you subtract one thing, you have to subtract the other thing as well. So 10. So it would just be 7Y. 7Y, yes. So 7Y equals, then you do 32 minus 11. Why are you adding them? Oh, uh, so if I have to, if I subtract them, I subtract everything. Yeah, if you add them, you add the whole thing. If you subtract, you subtract the whole thing. So mm. 21 now, you could easily find what Y is. Three. Three, yep. Now using yeah. number three, find out what X is. So let me just close the window, it's too much noise. Mm -hmm. oh. So 2x plus 15, so x is, yes, so, so y is um, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 times 3 is 16, yes. Y, well, um, okay, you've got y as 3, right? Yeah. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 times, yep, 2 times 0.5, yep, is 1, perfect, yes, very good, very good. Okay, um, what you could do is number 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you could finish them for homework actually. So I okay. think you'll be able to finish them. Do the rest of them for homework. I'm gonna send you the file over now. I don't think okay. um, you, because I don't think you'll have problems with this anymore. But that's to make sure you don't have problems. Um, Okay, I've sent it to you. So finish the rest for homework. Okay, um, did we finish linear equation, rearranging things? Yes, I think. Okay, let me go through a couple of hard ones at the end. Mm. We've got about 20 minutes left, so let's, so that's gone through. Um, did we do those questions and rearranging? Okay, can you do, let's start from 19, 20, 21. Or let's do from, nine, from 19. Rearrange it and find X the subject. Rearrange it. Yeah, rearrange it and make X the subject. Um, okay. So I have to put X equals. Yeah, you have to make X on its own. Okay, so solve x. So how would you find x on its own? What will you do? So this, those are- x plus five over two equals seven. But you have to show the working out. You can't just do it in your brain. You have to show how will you get it there. How I got there? Is, is x plus 5 over the whole thing over 7. So what is the value of x? So 5 over 2 is 2 and a half. So x is 4. Hey, you're doing it mentally in your head. I don't know why you're doing it mentally in your head. Uh, can you clear the screen? Let's do it together quickly. So I've got x plus 5, right? The first thing I'll do, this is a divide. I'll take it to the other side, right? Yeah. So now I'll have x plus 5. You have to show the working out like this. Otherwise, you'll, you'll not get any mark, especially if the answers are wrong. 
So what's, if I change this to the other side, what does that become? It flips. Flips. And it becomes a times. Yep. So seven times two is? 14. 14. So now I've got x plus five is 14. So what will, what will the value of x be now? X on his own. Minus nine. Nine, that's it. So I'm going to take this to the other side. This is a plus at the moment. If I take it to the other side, it becomes minus five. So X is nine. Now we'll just put nine in there. Nine plus five is? 14. Divided by two? Give me seven. Seven. That's it. That's all you have to do. This is called rearranging and making X the subject. So can yeah. you do number 20 now, please? Uh -huh. Think of the way I've done it and you do it the same way. So then... Why have you got the minus three? It's a normal three. Uh. So now, so I have to put the four to the. I have yeah, to put first, the half to the other side. You take the half two to the other side. First, you do the divide division first. So take the division to the other side. What does it become? Times. Yep. So it's going to become now. Rewrite the whole thing. So if this is. So, rewrite the equation again. So it's going to be 5x plus 4 equals to what? Would that equal 3 times 2? Yeah, 3 times 2, that's it, 6. So you just write 6, they'll understand where you got the 6 from. Now you could rearrange the equation and find x. Rearrange the equation and find x. Uh, so can I do... Subtract two from both sides. But why do you subtract two from both sides? I really don't understand. Why do you subtract two from both sides? So that all you're doing is mind. putting the letters on one side and the numbers on the other side. So five x. So put the whole numbers on one side and the letters on one side. Okay, this is about why have you got minus four here? Explain to me why have you got minus four here? This is, this is confusing me. Uh, because I flipped it because of that. Yeah, you flipped it. If you flipped it, you took it to the other side. Why does that stay on this side still for? If, I, if you take something to the other side, why do you have to still keep it on this side? So what you did is you took this to the other side, right? That became yeah. a minus four. So why have you still got a minus four here? Because you're not confusing yourself. If you moved it to the other side, why have you still got a minus four here? Four. Explain me that. I, I don't understand this scenario. Why are you putting the minus four here? So it's just five x equals two. That's it. Five x equals two. I really. So five x equals two, and oops. And then x is equals, what is x going to be? 0 0.4. It's going to be 2 over 5. Yep, so 2 over 5 is it. The other thing you were saying, adding minus 2, right, um, what you could have done, let me just rewrite this whole thing. Let me clear the screen. You had 5x um, plus 4. We'll leave a bit of space here. And you had here, you had 6, right? Huh? You were saying minus two on both sides. Why is there need for you to minus two? There is no two there. Well, you could have said, can I minus four on both sides? Well, there's a four here. So if I done a minus four here, I could have also done a minus four here. Yeah. 
Yeah. But then you don't do minus two, you minus the number that is next to it. If that was a minus, I could have said, let me add a plus four. So now I would have had five X plus four minus four already gives me zero. And then there's two here. Mm -hmm. and X is two over five. Now, if, um, if, I, if the equation was like this, I had five X minus four here, Sorry, five X's goes there. Oops. Five X minus four, instead of a plus, that was a minus four, equals six. Now what will I do to cancel out the four? So what can I do on plus. both sides? Plus the four, yes. So if I plus the four on this side, I plus it on the other side as well. So it's just 5x equals 10. So now 5x equals 10, but the question is not 5x equals 10 because the question was a minus plus 4. And then it would have been um, 10 over 5, x is equals 10 over 5. But that's not the, uh, that's not the question. The question was, um, you didn't have a minus, you had a plus. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, now you're going to do the next one. I'm not going to help you. I need you to, because those are simple mark questions. You really need to understand how to tackle them. So do 10 minus 5x divided by 3 equals 2. Find x. Would it also equal six because three times yep, two? Yep, yep. Now rearrange it and find x the subject. Uh, ten. Equals two. Ten minus five x equals six. Then couldn't you minus ten? Okay, show it. Write it down. I want to see you write write down the the way you will solve it to find x. No point doing it in your whole. So six minus ten. Okay, equals minus four. Okay. So now write the second line of the equation. So minus four. I am really getting confused. Why have you got plus five there for? Because here. Yeah, but then the four is on the other side. So why did you put plus minus five x? What, what should that be in the middle? Uh, you got the first part equals. right. Equals. Yes, equals five x minus five x. So now you should be able to find x. Uh, so it's minus over minus five. Yeah. So minus four over minus five makes it. It's a plus number. Point zero point eight. Zero point eight plus zero point eight. Yes. Or you could just write it as um, four over five. It's the same thing because the minus cancels out each other. Okay, now let's clear this and let's do the next one. Again, I'm not going to help you. You're going to try to do it yourself. So if I was to flip it, then 
I just do, I put an equals. Um, um, I don't know what you did there. So the first part is right. So you got 12 minus x equals 21, right? Yeah. Now rearrange it. So you have the whole numbers and the x on one side. The x on one side, the whole number on the other side. So it becomes a positive? Which one becomes a positive? I'm really confused. The x. So what is the answer for x? Okay, again, let me rub this out. So here, you've got 12, 12 here, right? On his own. Yeah. Then you move the 12 to the other side. So it just, you add it to, the, to 21. Yeah, but if I move it to the other side, what's the answer? So now I've got, why have you got 33? Explain to me, why have you got 33? Because I added these two. Why, why was the need for you to add? Why are you adding it? What's in front of the 12? Is it plus or a minus? Plus. If you take it to the other side, it becomes a minus. Mm -hmm. So now you'll have minus x, because you still got the x here, equals, you have 21. If I so take it's minus 12 from 21. Minus 12, yes. So 21 minus 12 is minus x. So that gives it 21 is it nine. Yep. So now x, you take the minus to the other side. So x is equals minus nine, that's it. That's all you have. You still haven't basic, this, those are basic questions. You should know how to rearrange it. The other way you could have done it, the way you were trying to do, I think. Um, let me rub it out. The way you were trying to do was put a minus 12 in front of each one. Oops. So you were trying to do it like this. Um, okay. So you were trying to do, you had the two here. So you were trying to do 12 minus x. And because there's a plus there, you could have done another 12 here. Yeah. Equals, you do minus 12 on 21, both sides, 20 minus 12. That's what you were trying to do. I understood what you were trying to do, but you got confused. Now, what will happen here, the 12 and the 12 cancels out. We're still left with minus x equals nine. So that's a plus 12, take away 12. I'm left with only this x left equals nine, so now, x is equals minus nine. You just take the minus to the other side and make it minus nine, that's it. So those are simple equation. All you have to understand is rearrange it. Take this to the other side, keep the letters on one side, the whole numbers on the other side. If this is a plus at the front, that becomes a minus, that's it. Those yeah. are simple stuff you really need to ace them because in the exam, you can't spend too much time on those questions. Right, you try to do this, this one now, please. No, this might be, okay, no, not do this one. This might, oh, no, you can do this one, actually. First, put the x's on one side. So it becomes minus one x. Okay, you try that to do it. It becomes three x. So three x, very good, yep. Um, where did you get the answer from? Because uh, 21 divided by 3 is 7. Right, you got this. First, you took the 3 to the other side, right? So that yeah. became 3x, right? So 7 minus 2x equals 3x. So what you should have done is um, you took this 3 to the other side because it's a divide. You made it into a 3x. That's fine. So 3x now equals... 7 minus 2x, right? Yeah. Now let's rearrange the x's. So now you've got this. Can you rearrange this x's for me, please? 
um one x why are you getting one x for because oh you got three x there you're going to move this x to the other side five x yes because this is a minus there if you take it to the other side it becomes a plus so five x is equals to what seven seven now what is x is equals uh, x equals seven over five. It, yes. So I think the problem you're having is moving things to the other side. You're not understanding how the sign changes. Remember I explained, if it's a minus, if I move it to the other side, it becomes a plus. Uh. The plus, if I move it to the other side, it becomes a minus. You need to just memorize this. If it's a divide, it becomes a times. And if it's already a times, it becomes a divide. You need to really memorize those signs in your head. Otherwise, you will really struggle. Okay, for next one is a bit more tricky. Let's, spend the, let's, let's do the last one. That's number 24. The first thing you're going to do is take that four to the other side. So you do it yourself. That's the last one. So you have eight y, very good. Plus... 12 equals to 2. Like that? Um, yep, now rearrange it. Make it wide the subject. So think of how you're going to rearrange everything. Uh, I minus well, I take this to the other side. Okay. But it becomes a plus. There's 10 y. Then take the 12 to this side. It becomes a minus, so it's no, minus. If you're, if you're taking the 8 to the other side, why are you, and why do you always put 10 minus y? This is the equals in the middle. I really don't understand why you keep on writing it like this. The y should be on one side, equals the whole number should be on the other side. You'll still get confused in yourself. But why is it okay, you got why is it five? Tell me why is it five? Explain to because me. Because I put the twelve to this side and it became a minus. Okay. So, so seven minus twelve. Seven. Twelve minus seven, sorry, is five. Right. Again, so you took the a, the whole no letters to the other side, you brought this to the other side, this side. So because there is a plus there in front of this. Um, because there's a plus in front of this, there's seven. If you take it to the other side, you took this to the other side. So make sure you arrow it like this, so you know what you're doing. So you put this to this side. Arrow like this, so you know what you're happening. So 12 minus seven, that gave you five. But now this, this is wrong. This answer is wrong. Explain to me why is it wrong. Because I should have taken the y to the, eight y to the other side. Yes, yeah, so, side, so it becomes what? You got two two y, there's minus two y here. And if you take it, if you took it to the other side, what does that become? There's a plus here. And it becomes a minus. Minus eight y. So what's the answer now? Minus ten y. Minus ten y, yes. So I don't know why you put ten y. Now you could find out what the value of y is. Two. No. Two? Yeah. Um, 0 0.5. Right, is it a plus or a minus 0 0.5? Minus. Minus, because there's already a minus number. Yeah. Right, what I would have done is to make life easy, you had this equation, right? Yes. So first thing, the first part you've done wrong, right. So oh, you got 7 minus 2y equals, you had 8y plus 12, right? That's fine. I would have, just, um, let me use a different color. I would have just swapped this, them around like this. Take this on this side. So explain it with an arrow next time, please. So I know what's happening and take this to the other side. So I had 8y minus 2y. If I take it to the other side, it becomes a plus. So 8 plus 2, that gives me 10y. Because this is a minus in front here. So that would have given me 10y. So that's a whole number. Keep this as a whole number. Uh, 7 here. This is a plus. If I take it to the other side, it becomes a minus. So minus 12y. 
that gives me minus five, right? Yeah. Now, y would have been easily done. So y would have been minus five over 10. That's it. So minus five over 10 is minus two. So now you just have to put minus two into that equation that you can't put it in. So that's it. So always next time I want you to show me the arrow, how you're moving and don't write things like this before, um, before you wrote, what was it, 10y um, minus, what do you put, minus 10 is it? Or minus three. The, because this is a whole number, you're taking it to the other side. In the middle, they should always be equal. They shouldn't be plus or minus because you're rearranging everything. Because you're going to yeah. confuse yourself if you start writing things like this. Okay, what I want you to do as well, redo this whole paper again, rearranging. I'm going to give it to you now um, at home. I'm not expecting you to finish it for um, Thursday's lesson. But what I want, um, can you just redo this whole paper by Saturday or Sunday and understand how to rearrange it? Because if you don't understand rearranging, you'll have big problem doing algebra activities in the exams. So which one should I prioritize? The other one or this I'm one? I'm gonna prioritize linear equation, the rearranging first. Then so, the, so not the simultaneous. Simultaneous, I think you've understood it. Um maybe you could do simultaneous on Thursday night or Friday night. Mm. So it's really important you understand how to do linear rearranging linear equations. Is that okay. okay. Yeah. All right, then have a nice day. Thank you. And I'll see you Thursday. Mm, you too. Goodbye.